welcome to our next episode and welcome to Kigali, Rwanda. The cleanest city we've ever visited. Yeah, we have just spent a thought-provoking few hours in the Kigali, Kigali Genocide Memorial Museum. A true example of what humanity shouldn't do. Yeah, we're both a bit quiet and not talkative after that experience. Yeah, yeah it's the, one of the, I think it's the youngest genocide, huh? Because it happened in nine, 1994, which is only, it's not even 30 years ago, so each person that I see here, uh, there's a good chance that they actually lived in 1994, so yeah. Yeah, it's shocking is that we have to have a, a, a youngest a youngest genocide that people can't fucking learn. We would appreciate it if you share our posts on social media and support us on Patreon. Go to patreon.com forward slash fearless on four wheels and get all our videos now. Anyway, I think that's what we have to say. Uh, let's show them the city center on a more positive note. So, let me just zoom out, zoom out, yesterday we experienced the, the hills of Kigali, apparently there is how many hills? More than a thousand. More than a thousand. Um, we hopped and popped up, we went up two hills, I pushed through a bit because people would stare at me if I don't get up, so I keep on resisting to just even make it if I'm pushing the chair just so that I keep my hands occupied. Um, but yeah, we were very unfit and um, just nice exploring the city by foot. The security guard asked me, why is she not helping you? And I said, because he doesn't want help. Yes, yes, so that would help. This episode we will explore a bit of Rwanda and see what is not just in Kigali, but outside of Take you with us on the road. Rwanda is the cleanest country we've ever visited, including our home country. Much of it is due to National Cleanup Day, where once a month, one member from each household is nominated to go out and do community work. In this video on the left, you can see Kigali city center on a normal work day. And on the right, you can see it on National Cleanup Day. The city center is so clean that there isn't really much to clean up anymore. Oh yes, and also a ban on plastic bags helped a lot. In our last episode, I said I was as fresh as a daisy. That was a bit presumption. Morning. So we're packing. Yeah, I'm feeling better now. Yeah. Um, so we've been in Kigali, staying at the World Love. At the One Love Orthopedic Workshop and um, church, and for the last six days, well, six days I've been sick in bed. Nine days. Oh, no, okay, nine, ten days. And I've been in bed with a bacterial blood infection. Luckily, the medical services here in Kigali has been fantastic. It took me two hours to get a doctor's appointment and to get my blood tested for all sorts of stuff for them to figure out it's a bacterial infection. And it was very affordable. It was about $20 in total for the doctor's appointment and to get my blood tested for malaria, typhoid um, and a few other things. So hopefully today I'm half fresh as a daisy and we are hitting the road. We're gonna start discovering the rest of Rwanda. So the rumor of my recovery seemed to have been greatly uh, exaggerated. Um, after two days at Nungwe Forest, we had to head back to Kigali because I got sick again. And my bacterial infection has persisted. So after three days back in Kigali, we are back on the road heading to Kivu Lake. Like well, we've got another five days of antibiotics and then we'll go back to Kigali and do another test to see if I've clapped it sat. So we've had lunch next to the road. 
The green hills are all around. Again, very hilly trip. Very green, quite a deeper green. And for the first time, the sky is not so hazy and much better light. So hopefully I can show you a little bit of drone footage as well to give you an idea of how green and hilly um, Rwanda is. If you got he said everything. Oh, okay. I asked if he had okay. anything to say. No, I didn't have anything to say. No, I've got nothing to say. <laughs> Okay. okay, we have a little bit of a crowd around us. People are very inquisitive. Let's see what Rwanda looks like from above. spend a blissful four days camping next to Lake Kivu, Karin's favorite lake on our journey along East Africa so far. We had a daily visit from the resident Congo otters and the blissful sunsets was amazing. Next time, we listen for wheels. We visit northern Rwanda, learn a lot more about the gorillas, and head into Uganda. Please remember to share our Patreon page on social media and tell your friends to help us grow this channel.